She was a pioneer of the running movement in Alaska. You can't tell the story of distance running in Alaska without mentioning Marcy Trent. She's usually smiling when she's running, but I like the character in her face in this one. The small, smiling, white-haired lady who ran and ran sparked the movement of movement in Anchorage as one of the first participants and promoters of the sport she picked up after the age of 50. This is the first Mayor's Marathon, 1974, coming into to the finish line at uh, West High. But not only one of the first, but one of the best, holding nearly 20 national age group records at one point, competing in 59 marathons, 11 ultras, from the equinox to Japan, was one of the first women over 50 to qualify for the Boston Marathon, a USA Track and Field Masters Hall of Famer, and logged over 71,000 miles all in the last 27 years of her life. The statistics go on and on. A world-class athlete and class act, Marcy encouraged, inspired, organized, mentored, advised, and advocated for the sport and Alaska. One of the greatest things about her was how inspirational she was. And she was highly respected in the running world. There's a story that uh, dozens of people have told me through the years about my mom. They're uh, running in a race, and a lot of times it's their first race. And they're around, they're about in the middle of it somewhere, and it's getting tougher than they thought it would be. And they're thinking about maybe giving up. And then about that time, this little old white haired lady comes just kind of gliding by them. And they look over and see her, and a lot of times she'll give them a word of encouragement. And it makes them determined, you know, so they'll, they'll go on and finish the race. With many firsts, including what is believed to be the first running club in Alaska, the Pulsators, Trent no doubt left a lasting legacy, carrying on the club's motto of run and rejoice.